some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we find ourselves in Tacoma Park, Maryland, with a sovereign citizen who is grievously upset over the fact that his car was towed after the 72-hour parking limit had expired. So he goes to the local police department to file a grievance against everybody there, of course. After he leaves on his motorcycle, he is again pulled over because, well, guess what? Improper tags. And soon is arrested for it, along with a laundry list of other charges. So let's sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Yesterday I moved my vehicle so they can't say it wasn't moved every 72 hours. So... Somebody towed my vehicle off of Sligo Mill Road and I want my vehicle back. Where is it at? This right here was left on my Mercedes. What was the reason for you, you all towing that vehicle? Parking. Parking? It stayed there parking. Excuse me? It stayed there parking. It stayed there parking? The reason was for parking. I don't have a ticket on it. Give me one second. Can you give me a copy of the ticket? Give me a second. Okay, thank you. This one was left on my Mercedes. They were both moved yesterday, so it can't be the 72 hours. This again is more retaliation, attempted retaliation and harassment. They will not learn. Well now, it is you who are the one that is parking above the stated limit and the fact that you're driving with no tags as well, could that have something to do with it? Nah, it couldn't be that. On this it says it must be moved every 72 hours. It was moved yesterday, so 72 hours have not passed yet. Neither was it passed with my Mazda. It also said that it must have a tag on it, even though there is no law saying that I must put a tag on my vehicle. On my property. Hey buddy, get your nose out of that sovereign citizen bullshit and read some actual statutes. Because if you had done that, you would have found this little nugget quite easily. So, that's your own damn fault, you moron. So, we're going to take it into a federal court and bankrupt this little town for this harassment. We've already served the parking person. Mr. Bush with a letter of intent and the police department are next. The parking reports and supervisor's information as well. Uh, what I want is my what's your name and badge number, Mr. My first name's Armani, last name's Keys, ID 8495. Okay, Mr. Keys, yes, sir. I want my vehicle returned back to where it was towed from. And you can tell the chief, the mayor, and whatever. Well, you could take it to the highest court in the United States, aka the United States Supreme Court, but I think it'd be so much easier for you just to pay your fines because you know you're not gonna win at that level anyway but nah that's not gonna make any sense for a brainless soft tart like you okay i'm going up to montgomery county again and i want to know where this vehicle was towed to okay, yeah, I'm, I'm about to give you okay i appreciate that right. mr key says that for unpaid parking tickets they towed this vehicle the talking tickets are illegal parking tickets. And if you think I'm going to pay illegal parking tickets, this government of Tacoma Park is on some serious dope. What they're going to do is they're going to pay me 
for taking my private property off a of public area. You are on some serious wacky tobacco if you think that you're going to uh, make them pay for all this. Yeah, okay. Live in your little fantasy world because it hasn't worked for any other sovereign citizen yet. What makes you think it's going to work for you? This is the game that these individuals play and they're not even good at it. Well, if towing vehicles is a game because of sovereign citizen tags, you better get ready for the next round because it's coming soon. And guess what? You're not going to be the winner. Mr. Keys, yes, please tell who your, your chief and your mayor, if my vehicle is damaged anymore, they're going to they're gonna pay for it. Okay. okay? I want my vehicle returned where it was parked at. So this is their um, phone number and also their address for the tow company. Um, and then us towing, they're up in Beltsville. I, I thought you guys would have learned the first time, but you know, evidently you haven't. So if they thought I was joking and playing with them, they're about to find out. By, it wasn't towed by like um, a regular tow, it was towed by a flatbed. So. Who authorized this tow? Yeah, I'm assuming what you just said was dealing with a Mazda 3. Yep, you're going to have to close the call and park. I'm saying it. Let, let, uh, who am I speaking with, first of all? You're talking to Nick, the owner here. All right, Nick, the owner, you're being recorded right now. Let me explain, let me explain this to you. Right now, we're in a lawsuit. Nick sounds like he's dealt with soft tires before. This should be interesting. Okay, I'm telling you right now that vehicle... I'm telling you right now that vehicle was illegally towed. And, okay, and I, if you want your company involved in this big lawsuit, so be it. Okay, but that, that vehicle was illegally towed from that area by Tacoma Park, Maryland. Okay? So I want my vehicle back where it was. If you don't, I'll be filing a, a complaint with you also in federal court. I'm just letting you know that. Do that. Do that. Do that, sir. Okay. okay. Say no more. Say no more. Okay. Don't talk about right. right. my heads. Don't say no more. Well, now, that didn't work out very well for you. Nick wasn't having any of your BS, and you hung up on him quite fast when you realized that. Gee, it's almost like he's seen it all before, and he knows that uh, people threatening to file frivolous lawsuits, for the most part, is bullshit. Mr. Keys, please inform your uh, administration. I want my fucking car put back over there. They have never dealt with nobody like me before said every soft tard ever. I mean, come on. Do you really think government agencies and corporations haven't dealt with your idiotic kind before? This is the game that these clowns play. This is the chief of police vehicle right here. Okay? They went out there and say because of the tickets, they towed my vehicle. And as you heard the tow man said until I settle it with Tacoma Park. Okay, we're gonna settle it all right, right up in Greenville.
again this is more attempt to intimidate and harass me well with those fake plates on your bike another encounter fairly soon is inevitable again this is more attempt to intimidate and harass me the tickets are illegal as you heard the tow truck driver say do not move my vehicle until I satisfy Tacoma Park, Maryland. Ain't that some shit? Nope, those are the laws, dude. In order for a society to function properly, there has to be laws. You're nothing special, dude. Wait a minute. The only thing special about you is you're a soft hard, thinking he's above the law. That's the only thing special about you. So stand by. We about to get real greasy with this. Oh, I'm standing by. I'm waiting to see how this game turns out. He sent this officer out here to look at me and follow me. They know who you are. They know that you're a sovereign citizen. And they know you're going to be driving around on no plates. Or sovereign citizen plates anyway. So you have a right to be paranoid. Because they are going to be looking out for you. Because that's their job to enforce the laws of the road. And now he's following me on my motorcycle. I'm Sergeant Robinson to Tacoma Park Police. See your license and registration. What's your name and badge name, off? Sergeant Robinson. What can I do for you? 8388. What can I do for you? Can I see your license and registration, please? What crime have I committed, officer? Uh, you don't have a tag. Your tag's not readable. What crime have I committed, officer? Your license plate's not readable. First you said I didn't have a license plate. Now you say it's not readable. What is it? Uh, what is this? Can I see your license registration, please? What crime have I committed, officer? The traffic violation. A uh, traffic violation? I'm traveling. Okay. okay. I don't need a license and a, a registration to travel on my private property. You do need a license to drive a you motorcycle. Wanna... I do not need a license or a license plate to travel. Well, gee, you do live in the state of Maryland, and guess what? Maryland requires that you have your vehicle tagged, registered, and have a license. But oh wait, I forgot. You're a sovereign citizen. You have special immunities, right? Oh wait, no, you don't. Hey, that's definitely so what are we going to do, sir? I don't know, you tell me. You tell me, you're the I one that stopped me. I need your license and registration. Well, that's not what you're gonna get. I don't need a license on my own private property. This is a private property, it's a public property. This motorcycle is a private property, sir. This is a public street. The Supreme Court has ruled I'm traveling. I don't have to need it. You so, need a license. I do not need a license, sir. Nor do I need plates. Yeah, I'm still gonna need it. 
Citation needed, please. You can't just say the Supreme Court ruled that without providing documentation of it. That may work for some other blockheads, but not around here, buddy. So what, what, is, what, what are we going to do, sir? Is your body cam on? Yes, sir. Okay, Your Honor, this individual has stopped me on a public street riding my private property telling me I need a license and I need plates on my own private property. Show me the law or the statute, sir. It is not on him to spoon feed you the law on the side of the road. It is up to you to understand what the law entails in your case. But all you've been spoon fed is a bunch of pseudo legal garbage from a bunch of con men. Show me the law and the statute. I don't know it specifically. Okay. 13, section 13 in the transportation article is for registration. For driving, I'm traveling. Yes. For commercial use. This is not commercial use. It doesn't matter. You're on a plane. Oh, it does matter, sir. It does matter. Okay. Wrong again, dude. Driving is not strictly for commercial purposes. That tired old argument does not fool judges. Therefore, it will not hold up in court. You lose again. So, what are we going to do now, sir? I need your registration. It's not going to happen. So, what are we going to do now? All right. What are we going to do now? I need your registration and your life. <laughs> what are we going to do now? What about your name and date of birth? What? You're not getting anything, Nothing? sir. Nothing. Zero. Well, how can I tell who you are? What are we going to do, sir? I I'm on my private... Your Honor, I'm on my private property, riding on a public street, traveling, and this officer has stopped me. Your Honor, my client is an idiot. He's been led astray by a bunch of con men who've made him believe that driving is for only for commercial purposes. And that driving and with no license and no registration, no tags or anything like that is perfectly okay. Sorry, uh, Judge, but can you have some leniency on him? He's been led astray. All right, sir. Okay. You're going to be placed under arrest. Okay. Giving us your license registration. Okay, let me put this back in here. Go for it. Okay, go on your back. Do you want to give us your name and license? Name and date of birth? Anything? Nope. This officer followed me out of the station. And now I'm being arrested. For what I'm being arrested for? Uh, driving without a license. Okay. Okay. Uh, driving without a license. Not I'm yourself. not driving, sir. I'm traveling. Same thing. I'm traveling. And I don't have the ID in the state of Maryland. You have what? To give me at least your name and date of birth. I don't have to give you anything. You have to give me something. Uh, not according to this statute, dude. Come on, let's go. I'm ready to go. You're going to learn a valuable lesson, sir. Where is this tag through? Is DOT exempt through a certain state? Nothing? Okay. Can you uh, take it back to the station? No. Hi, uh, was it, uh, can I get my keys off of that bike, please? You can have the keys. Wait. The bike. Okay, I'm good to go. Come on, man. Make sure that that bike is not damaged at all. My keys are my private property, which you don't have jurisdiction of. And of course, I promised you that he would have a laundry list of charges, and here they go. Operating unregistered motor vehicle on highway, unauthorized display and use of registration plates, knowingly driving unregistered vehicle, Failure to display registration card upon demand by police officer. Failure of individual driving on highway to display license to uniform police on demand. Driving motor vehicle on highway without license and authorization. Driving vehicle on highway with expired license. Driving vehicle on highway with unpaid register registration fee. Failure to attach single registration plate on rear of vehicle as required. Driving without current tags. 
And that is indeed a laundry list of a really stupid person. But nobody ever said you had to be smart to be a sovereign citizen. In fact, it's a requirement to be a total moron to be a sovereign citizen. Well, anyway, that's the end of the video. I hope you liked it. So take care, guys.